Hey, welcome to this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Sure, <laughs> it is. So, uh, continuing the theme of reviewing beers I haven't had in like over a decade. This is one I haven't had in like about ten and a half years. This is a pretty famous one, though. From Deschutes Brewery out of Bend, Oregon. The Abyss Barrel Age Imperial Stout, 12 fluid ounces. Uh, measurable depth and complexity, hints of molasses, licorice. They do say it's bottle condition, which I find interesting. This was bottled on May 3rd, 2022, so a little less than two years old, about a year and a half old. 11.5 ABV. I just wanted to bring up the brewery's website real quick. Actually, they have um, a whole page just for this beer. So it's interesting. They actually have the malts and hops on here. Nugget, Cascade, Delta. It says 11% on here, but it's actually... And it's available year-round now. That's interesting. I remember this was like a super white whale back in the day. They don't say what um barrels it's aged in like which distillery or what kind of barrels i mean i just assume bourbon barrels and kind of like uh bourbon county now they have all these variants like port old world and they have like a coconut and some other stuff like that wow that one's 14.3 all right so i pour it into the what else the tulip glass and that is super super dark black kind of looks like some of those pastry stouts but unlike those I actually get a nice foamy, you know, light brown, maybe straight up brown uh, head on there. And it is still hanging around. I did not pour the entire bottle in. There's still a little bit left in there. But I don't see any sediment on the bottom. So no yeast cake. So let's give it a smell. Wow. Now yeah, that is, I mean, they mentioned licorice on the label there. Yeah, that is, that is very much black licorice. But I would also say it's like a Black Forest cake. You ever had German Black Forest cake? It's delicious. This is what that kind of smells like it. Maybe a little rum. Um, yeah, there's definitely like kind of like a spirit presence there. I mean, I, I assume this is bourbon barrel age. It just says barrel age, so it could just be straight up barrels for all I know. If you guys know, let me know in the in the comments. I was gonna say description, but I write the description. Yeah, so a very sweet smelling um, licorice, cake, chocolate, uh, like kind of like rum or bourbon, something like that. Almost like, maybe like a cherry puree. I'm sorry, it does smell pretty similar to uh, Goose Island's Bourbon County. So maybe it tastes as good. Let's see. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, the taste is a little bit different from the aroma. The aroma is very like chocolate and kind of rum and all that stuff. And the taste is a little more fruity, I would say. I mean, I mentioned cherry on the nose. It's definitely like a cherry. It's almost like a rum-soaked cherry, uh, rum-soaked raisin. I'm definitely getting like kind of like a raisin quality on here. I get a little bit of toffee. I will say it is not nearly as like fudgy as bourbon county and uh some of the other beers of that style in fact i actually get a little bit of kind of like a cold brew coffee like in the aftertaste which is interesting because i don't usually tend to get actual coffee or roasty flavors out of like these huge imperial barrel aged stouts oddly enough yeah so up front kind of cherry a little bit of raisin um Maybe, you know, kind of like some of the drier fruit flavors, uh, kind of similar like a Belgian, but without the yeast character. And then, you know, hits the apex. I'm getting like vanilla, get like bourbon, get like kind of like the woody quality off the barrel. And then finishes with like a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of like a coffee sensation. There is a, a little bit of a resiny kind of sensation too. I would say there's enough bitterness for balance there. Yeah, the hops linger a little. I would say pretty briefly. The aftertaste is, I'd probably say the aftertaste is more malty than hoppy. Again, this is this was bottled in 2022, so it's um you know, it's very very smooth. I will say, uh, for 11.5 ABV, I mean obviously, you can tell that it's a pretty strong beer. But I am not breathing fire here. It is not warming my throat like the way that. Uh, you know, fresh bourbon county, even vintage bourbon county does. Yeah, so I'd say medium full body, 
very smooth, borderline creamy texture. Carbonation, moderate, moderately low, something like that. You know, really smooth. Only minor, minor alcohol presence here. Yeah, that's really tasty. Um, I haven't had this in a long time, 10 and a half years. And you know where I got this? I got this on Tavor. Link in the description below. Use my code. You're going to get $10 off your first purchase. Get enough referrals. I can get into their influencer program. Yeah, so as far as my rating for the Abyss, I, I really, really like it. But I would say Bourbon County and like even like some of the uh, the Hardywood Christmas beers, I like a little bit better than this one. So I'm going to go solid 9 out of 10, 4.5 out of 5, kind of like an A-minus kind of beer uh, for the Abyss. Yeah. Wish they, wish they make more beers like this, you know. All right, so I am rambling. If you watch all the way in, you know you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys Tuesday night beer school. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. 